Hi, I'm Tom Newell with DallasNews.com. It's been several years uh, since the Astrodome has been used for any type of uh, sporting event. Now we want to talk about its future, find out what we're, or what's going to happen with the Astrodome in the next several years. We brought in our architecture critic, Mark Lamster, to talk more about it. Thanks for stopping by, first of all. Now, uh, what's the status of the Astrodome right now? What's it looking like? Well, the status is that it's in this neb state of nebulous limbo um, in November. Uh, Houston voters, or actually Harris County voters, uh, went to the polls uh, on a referendum a ballot initiative that would have uh, spent $217 million on an adaptive reuse plan for the stadium. Uh, and that was rejected very narrowly uh, in a slow turnout election. Um, so now, uh, and immediately after that, the response was, this is the end of, of the dome. The dome is going to be destroyed. But that's actually not true. There isn't money to destroy the dome right now, and there isn't a political will to destroy the dome right now. But there's also no plan for the future of the dome right now. So it's sitting in a nebulous state, uh, waiting for someone to come up with a creative idea before it does actually end up uh, uh, on the destruction list, now, which would be tragic. Okay, it's, it's definitely a historical building. So why should we save a building like the Astrodome? Why should it be saved? Well, the Astrodome, well, first of all, in Houston, it's one of the, perhaps the defining monument uh, of Houston. So it'd be tragic for the city to lose such a, uh, an important icon of itself. But even more than that, it's a, it's a real architectural wonder, uh, a testament to American creativity and optimism and technological prowess, an extraordinary building with immense uh, column-free open space, the first really a domed uh, major sporting uh, uh, facility uh, spawned uh, uh, many others right. in, in its wake, and just uh, and many technical technological um, uh, developments came from it, like Astrodome uh -huh. being one of them, uh, and just a wonderful place of, of great memories. Uh, so it would be just terrible to lose it. Definitely, I, I can imagine that, all those people who've gone to those games, and, and definitely some memories there. Now, we've got the future of the Astrodome. How could this future kind of affect other buildings uh, around the U.S. when it comes to their historical title? Well, right now we have a problem that we have many uh, ma major modern buildings that are under threat across the United States and even in our region. And the Astrodome has become something of a test case uh, and poster child for the efforts to save these buildings. Uh, in some ways, uh, it is entirely idiosyncratic, its, history, its story of its, uh, its future uh, and, and the problems it faces, the challenges it faces, shall we say. But in other ways, those, those challenges are representative of the broad uh, spectrum of issues that face other modern landmarks from financing to uh, uh, land use, changing patterns of use, uh, changing um, uh, remediation issues. Um, so there are all kinds of challenges that these buildings face and often the discussion on them devolves into is it beautiful or not or it's ugly um, and really that that's not really the necessarily the questions we should be asking it's how should we what can we do to save these amazing parts of our history right now you, you briefly mentioned in our region uh, what are some of the buildings in the Dallas area or in our region that kind of uh, you know are affected by this that could be uh, in harm's way well, uh, regionally, one of the we're looking at a major tragedy in Oklahoma City, where the Stage Center Theater, uh, or the Mummers Theater, as it was originally known, an uh, amazing contemporary building to the Astrodome, designed by John Johansson, is under threat of demolition, um, and it's really uh, on its last legs. And this is an extraordinary building, a, a sort of like space age. Um, uh, theater complex, very optimistic, very colorful, sort of kit of parts building. Um, and Oklahoma City does not have a lot of modern landmarks uh, and icons for itself, and this could be one, a really, and instead it's, it's, uh, looks like it's fated to be replaced with a rather banal office building, which would be terrible. <laughs> and, um, and here in Dallas we have some, some good news. We have the Statler Hilton downtown, mm -hmm. uh, the Braniff operations and maintenance space out at Love Field. And, these are buildings that we would like to see um, preserved, and there are plans to preserve them, but until those plans are finally in place, we don't know what's going to happen. All right, sounds good. Well, Mark, thank you so much for stopping by and giving us your insight. It'll definitely be interesting to see what happens with the Astrodome and what the future holds for it. Again, thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks for having me.